Hi guys. So today I want to tell you guys how I raised my SAT score from 850 to 1500. And I'm going to tell you guys some tips and my academic backgrounds today. And I really hope that those tips that I tell you guys today will help you. I honestly think that anyone that is watching this video is capable of getting whatever the score that you want to get from the SAT. So stick with me and let's finish this video. So for my academic background, I came here from South Korea in 2015 not being able to speak English at all. So my first focus when I got here was to improve my English level in any way possible. Starting my freshman year in high school in from Fedaway High School, I took my first PSAT where I got 850, which was not a good score if I wanted to go to a good college. So I had two options. First one was to blame myself and blame the environment that nobody helped me. I couldn't speak English and blah 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 but I didn't choose that option and the other option I had was instead of crying over the score instead of being mad finding a way to improve my score improve my knowledge and improve my language skills so what I did was I took maybe 30 minutes sometimes an hour a day to read a book to practice some problems and to study the vocabularies and doing that for a year, in sophomore year, I got 1200, which was about 400 scores up. So I was really surprised because I realized what I, would, what I have been doing was working. And I was surprised. And I was doing that over and over again, but I was spending about an hour to two hours every day studying for the SAT, learning new vocabularies every day, getting used to grammars, and try to learn how to read fast and in junior year for SAT I got 1350 which was another 150 points up so I was really happy but then my goal in the beginning was to get 1500 but then I realized over time that my score is not growing as fast as I wanted I realized I need to switch up things a little bit so what I did was what if I understand how people who create the test think so if I know if I know their mindset and if I can have the mindset while I'm practicing for the SAT and while I'm taking the SAT that means I will be able to think and find the answer that they wanted me to find and I realized that I have those typical like specific types of questions that I'll always get wrong so I started making a notebook full of the questions that I got wrong and then underneath the problems I would say why I thought that was the right answer and below that I would say why this is a wrong answer now that I know the right answer and then I'll analyze and analyze why I got the problem wrong and how next time I can get that problem right and doing it for over like an, about an eight month in senior year for SAT I got 1500 I was really happy so this sounds like a lot of work but if you actually try it it doesn't take that much of time that you can still manage your schoolwork your club and on top of that SAT preparation so for me, I spent four days a week practicing problems, learning vocabularies, and reading books. And two to three days a week, going over the problems, analyzing the problems, and understanding the mindset of test makers. So alright, that, that was it for my academic background. So there's nothing special, I just really worked hard, worked like every day to get the result that I want. And my tips for reading section is you have to read a lot and you have to solve a lot of problems because the comprehension skill and vocabulary skills comes from practicing and reading a lot of books, articles, and news and anything but the ability to solve problems fast and attack the problems faster comes from practicing a lot of practice tests so how I started was I started reading news every morning starting in freshman year so for the past four years I've been reading news every morning focused on politics opinion and science based. I chose this because reading section has five passages, one from US or word literature and two passages from science and another two passages from US history or social studies. So reading more articles about science, history, politics and opinion based really helped me a lot. And also like the class works that helped me was US history class word history class and literature class because those classes help me to learn how to understand old a little bit crankier English better 
And for the tips for math, math section, I would say, so if you haven't covered all the topics that the SAT math section has, which is up, I believe up to Algebra 2, and sometimes it's a little bit of pre-calculus. My first advice, if you have not taken all the classes, I would take all the classes in schools, and if you cannot do it, then I would find someone that can help you learn those skills. And if you can find anyone, KhanAcademy.com is a great website and great resources for you to learn more math, reading, writing sections, and grammars. So check their website out as well. And, and if you have covered every topics that you need to know, then my advice is to practice more problems. It could be 10 questions a day, 5 questions a day, or 30 minutes a day. Just do more problems. And it's because you can only create so many type of problems in math. Meaning that you will face the same type of problems just with different numbers. So if you have a great greater exposures to more types of problems, then when you face the same types of problems with different numbers, you already know how to attack the problems and you will easily get over with and go on to next problems and also make the notebooks full of the problems that you got wrong so that you can analyze the type of problems that you got wrong and the mistakes that you always make and so that you can fix those mistakes. Alright, so before I finish the video, my last advice for those who are preparing for the SAT test is don't be scared and don't be disappointed just because you got a bad score. The, yes, that's true that SAT could be a big part or sometimes it's a small part of college, college applications. Just because you have a really good score in SAT test, it does not mean that you're smart. And you, just because you have a bad low score doesn't mean that you're dumb. So don't give yourself too much pressure just because you don't get a good score. Don't be disappointed and just be resilient and keep following your path. And one day you will achieve your end goal. So thanks for watching today's video guys and if you want to study and if you want to start studying for the SAT test and if you don't know where to start it from, I will recommend you guys to check out KhanAcademy.com because they have a great resources and it's free. Honestly, I think it's one of the best resources for the SAT prep out there. Again, thanks for watching today's video and I'll be making more videos about tips for SAT reading section, writing section, math sections, college essays and other stuff. So if you're interested in watching those videos, and continue my YouTube channel journey with me, please hit the subscribe button below and click the bell button as well. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment or DM me through Instagram. I'll reply to everything. So, all right guys, I'll see you guys next video and have a good rest of your day. Bye bye.